Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a fun little pre-release. This drops tomorrow, but thanks to Tops, we get to break a case of this tonight, the night before Series 1 official release. Series 1 Eve, 2023 Top Series 1 Baseball, Jumbo, 6 box, random team break number 1. One spot gets you two teams. All card ship, all teams are in. Thanks to Tops once again. And thanks to everyone here for getting on it. And uh, we also got these uh, these cool, uh, thanks to Tops again for hooking us up with these event exclusive Series 1 Rip Party packs for 2023. So we're sending, I believe, yeah, we, got all, we, we just got these today. So each spot gets three of those packs. We'll ship those to you sealed. Now for the break itself, let's double you up like Sir Mix-a-Lot. Oh, double up. Oh, oh. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Five and a five, 10 times. 10 the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. After 10 times, we got Steven down to David. Five and a five, ten the hard way for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten, we've got the fight and fills down to the brew crew. Here's how it shakes out. Steven, you got the Phillies. Mark with the Tigers. Steven, Marlins and Reds. Michael with the Yankees. Kevin with the Royals. Will with the Rangers. Michael with the Nats. Jared with the Braves and the Rays. David with the Twins. Lonnie with the Mets. Mark with the Giants. Will with my Dodgers. Tristan, last spot mojo, Blue Jays. Lonnie with the Padres. Michael with the Angels. Chris with the Pirates. Tristan, your other last spot mojo, Team Cubs. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. Steven with the White Sox. Eugene, A's, Cardinals. Kevin with the Red Sox, Chris with the Guardians, Brandon with the Astros, Michael with the Mariners, Tristan with the o the Orioles, O's, Orioles, Brandon with the Diamondbacks, Tristan with the Rocks, and David with the Brew Crew. All right, let's sort by, uh, by team alphabetically. We will pause the video just for a moment, see if there's any trades. When we come back, we'll have the break itself. Stick around, we'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No deals were done here in this break. On a Chew Tuesday. Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. So now, let's see what kind of love we could get out of this Series 1. for one autograph and two relic cards in every hobby jumbo box. We'll do a we'll do a hit recap at the end of this video as well. I like these box toppers. All right? The bases are going to be a little bit bigger than this this year. This will be for the A's. This will be for Eugene. I, I, I am the greatest, greatest, greatest of all time. Here are the uh, silver packs that are in each box. Let's pop out these jumbo packs first. All right. Kick back and relax, boys and girls. Series 2023 series. This pretty much this pretty much means the start of the baseball season, as far as I'm concerned. Super Bowl is behind us. Series one is here in front of us, and we've got a nice baseball season ahead of us.
all card shit. So if I happen to accidentally breeze by a short print or, uh, you know, or a, or God forbid a numbered card or something like that, don't worry, it will ship. On Rex, you ruined it. It's right there in the chat now. Now they know what I'm doing. Come on, Rex. I was supposed to look organic. Now they know. Got a Merrill Kelly. I'm not sure why that's flipped around, but there it is. We got a gold Tony Gonsolin. Nice. I like the way that gold border looks. Let's see if we can find some some rookies with that gold border. There's an old uh, old uh, Tony Gwynn. And we'll do. Uh, Left, center, right randomizers on those multiplayer cards. Let's just leave one over here just so I don't forget at the end. So yeah, so there'll be more of those like that. be a big year for Miguel Vargas. He's going to get a lot of time for the Dodgers. And they're letting the kids play. And there's our first autograph. It's a nice one. Barry Larkin. Cincinnati Red Legs. That's going to be Stephen Carney with the Reds. Thirty-eight out of fifty. Nice start. Also, I really love this. That's kind of awesome. I don't know how short printed this is, but... Oh, are these all aces? I was going to say, let's see if we can make a poker hand, but it would be a really good poker hand if they're all aces. I think Gunnar Henderson, he's another dude that's supposed to get some run this year, right? Orioles, it's going to be for Tristan. Obviously, all card ships, so we're, everyone's going to get these rookie cards, obviously. Um, but hopefully, we can find some parallels of some of the more recognizable rookies. The names that we've been seeing in... Bowman product and, you know, Bowman draft products from years past. It's kind of cool to finally start seeing some of those names that we've been looking at years ago in Bowman product and finally seeing them with the rookie card badge here in 2023 Series 1. It'll be cool to, uh, it'll be cool to see how these rookies develop. That's what we're looking for. Your second year Wander Franco. Got a Bobby Witt Jr. And we've got a numbered card here to 76. Marcelo Zuna. That's going to go to Jared and the Braves. 36 out of 76. What a season for Aaron Judge. What does Aaron Judge do for an encore? Abraham Toro.
Does Aaron Judge hit? Does Aaron Judge hit sixty homers ever again? Michael Harris. And the blue Ricky Henderson, not numbered, but nice little border there. And here is a City Connect relic here, commemorative City Connect patch. Nice. A manufactured patch, but still cool looking. Mookie Betts. That's uh, Will Christian and the Dodgers. James saying hopefully he hits 50 plus a few more times. That, that, I mean, that would be pretty awesome. But obviously, you know, to state the obvious, not, not easy to hit 50 homers in any given season. But if he knocks that out a couple times, man, a few more times, pretty awesome. There's Oswald Peraza for the Yankees. Michael Gallucci with the Bronx Marlins. That's a name to look out for. I mean, frankly, there's a lot of names to look out for this year. I think the the rookie cards in this set, there's J.J. Blade, right? Guys like him could be interesting too. Where's he drafted? Anyway, uh, they just traded J.J. Blade for A.J. Puck, I want to say. There's former number one overall pick, Adley Rushman, Orioles, Tristan with the O's, and Leo Correro, Paguero with, uh, for the Pirates, Chris Perrin. It's 2023, Zach Davies. That will be for Brandon. Wait, did that other border one was number 2023? I'll, I'll find that other one later. Tyler Stevenson, Major League Material. Cincinnati Red Legs. That's going to go to Steven. Cal Mitchell, just throwing Cal Mitchell around here. That's 006 out of 499. Pirates, Chris Parent. All right, that's box one in the books. The silver packs out of box one. Jazz Chisholm. And a Mike Trout back there. Nice. All right, let's go to box two. Now James is thinking Aaron Judge might be one of the few left to have a chance at 500 home runs.
Could he get to 500? How He's a little bit on the older side. He's 30. He turns 31 in April. He's got 220 homers already. There's Ichiro. According to BaseballReference.com, his 162-game average is about 49 homers a year. And how many years was the contract he signed? Health is everything. But in seven seasons, he has 220 home runs. I would, I, would, I would think that maybe a few more years, maybe four or five years into that contract, they'll probably start shifting him more to hitting exclusively out of the DH spot. I suppose whenever Giancarlo Sands' contract runs out. Next box, good luck. Got a Jose Ramirez. Tyler Stevenson, a Robbie Ray, and nice, a Travis Swaggerty autograph. Rookie autograph for the Pirates, Chris Parent with the Buckos. And they've got a number of youngsters like him coming up the ranks. And Cabrian Hayes a couple years ago, Neil Cruz last year, Travis Swaggerty, Leogra Pivero, Paguero. And Nolan Gorman, a big name for the Cardinals. Eugene. Gossman. Christian Pache. And we got a Matt Stram, four ninety two out of four ninety nine. Bradley, what's going on? Any heavy lumber? What is that? Is that an insert set in Series 1? A new insert set. And I have not noticed a heavy lumber. 
We've seen Welcome to the 3030 Club. We've seen the Vintagey cards. We saw the Aces card. One that looks like a poker card. But no, no heavy lumber just yet. And we got an Otani, four out of 88. Nice. Angels, that's for Michael Gallucci. Is he, is he getting traded this year? I don't know. There might be, I don't know if Otani is going to... I think he's going to hit free agency for sure. The Angels don't have a good season by the trading deadline. It could be possible. There's a Sosa rookie card, but his name is Lenyon Sosa, but could be a Lenny. Uh, if he goes Lenny, we haven't we haven't used the the Lenny memento drop in a long time. Oh, Lenny. This one's numbered to two ninety nine. Greg Maddox, Braves, Jared. It's kind of a cool set, that all aces set. And City Connect, Alec Thomas. Nice, that looks cool. Diamondbacks, that goes to Brandon. Adley Rushman, Tristan and the Orioles. There's a one-two punch. Looking to see if we can find a, a heavy lumber. And we've got a Vlad Guerrero Jr. Relic game used memorabilia for Tristan in Toronto, Last Ball Mojo. Some more Gunnar Henderson, Tristan Casas for Kevin and the Red Sox. Let's see if we can find parallels of guys like him. That's what we're looking for. The base rookies are nice. Parallels will be even better. A gold frame, something stamped, low numbered, something like that. There's Alcantara and there's Lenyon Sosa, 42 out of 30, uh, 300. We're just talking about him. That goes to Steven in the White Sox. Yeah, that's what someone mentioned too, Brett, that, uh, that on short prints, they'll actually have... I don't know where they're going to... But they'll actually have SP or SSP stamp there. I think they'll probably be flipped around too or something like that. Uh, 
All right, another box. Prim saying the backs of the super short prints are gold. Nice. Oh, let's. Forgot about these. Some nice names in the one of one cut signatures checklist. Mike is saying. Give us some. Uh, give us some examples. Another box, the box topper, Otani, nice. I think some of these can be autographed too. Put those other packs up there. Ruth, Clemente, Maris, Puckett, Cobb, etc., etc. Nice. It'd be a heck of a break if we uh, end up pulling a cut auto out of here. Gotcha, the Super SSP should be in big letters near the card number, got it. All right, uh, Series 1, 2023 Series 1 officially drops tomorrow. Thanks to Tops for letting us uh, pop one open today as part of their pre-release uh, festivities. Series 1 Eve. Now we've got some for a new release day on the website right now, jaspiescasebreaks.com. We've got a few cases already sold out. Jason Jaspie will be going live a bit earlier tomorrow. Check the schedule. It'll be around noon Pacific. Max Stasi. So it should be a pretty uh, pretty busy day tomorrow. Uh, 194 out of 300, Tristan McKenzie, and a jersey autograph, Xander Bogarts. Boston Red Sox. It'll be for Kevin. That's right. We we were choo choo choosing on a Tuesday. 27 out of 50, Kevin. Nice. Chris McKenzie goes to Cleveland. That'll be for Chris. What's up, Steven? Doing well, doing well in the middle of our pre-release rip of the 2023 Topps Series 1 Baseball. Nice. We got a Gunnar Henderson with that gold border. 2023. 457 out of 2023. Orioles. That's for Tristan. 
could be one of the bigger names in the hobby this summer. Let's keep an eye out. Looks like Billy Donovan's going to get fired. They're talking about Mark Jackson. Like taking over this season. When's the last time Mark Jackson was, uh, was on a sideline? We got Oscar Gonzalez, 358 out of Uh, I, not that I know of speed parts. Here is Jeffrey Springs, little orange. 64 out of 299. And a Padres City Connect card. City Connect Cat Patch card. It's pretty cool. Manny Machado. That's going to be for Lonnie and the pa uh, Padres. Padres. Chris has the Pirates. And there we go. There's a super short print right there. I like how they do that. SSP. Nice. That's Ezekiel Duran. Speed parts. Look at that. Comes in asking if we hit any super short prints. And there's one right there. Bam. I like that they do that. So Rangers. Will Christian. Where there's a will, there's a way. Beef parts spoke it into existence. Yeah, I, I had a feeling they'd also be flipped around too. That makes it a little bit easier for us as well. That plus the big, bold, super short print lettering is also going to be very helpful during group breaks. And we got a piece of Jonathan India's lumber, major league material. Steven with the Reds. We've got a Yachty, 16 out of 2023. 
And another Gunnar Henderson. Yachty will go to Eugene and the Cardinals. All right, we are halfway through this six box break. This full case break. Three boxes and three more to go, about another half an hour to go. Justin Verlander. Good luck, everybody. I think we've got some uh, some win totals out here. I think VegasInsider.com have some win totals. I think they might have... Oh, yeah, they're win totals from uh, MGM slash Caesars. They kind of average them out. Consensus... Win totals, if you feel like it, in the chat, I'm going to tell you the team and the win total, and you give me the team again, in case you might be lagging behind, team again, and you can say over or under. Start with the AL East, Yankees, 94 and a half. Well, these could change as spring training goes along, but as of now, the early win total, 94 and a half which leads the AL East. It's kind of a toughie. I feel like it's going to be right around there, huh? Greg says under. Yankees under. I feel like it's going to be right there. <laughs> Vegas is good at these. 94, 95, 96 wins. Jensen and Greg saying under. I'll go with the division leaders first, and then we'll highlight some other teams. Uh, Cleveland leads the AL Central in win totals, 86 and a half. Over or under? I'll take the slight over on the Yankees, by the way. And I'll take over on Cleveland, too. I say they got like 88 wins in them. James says over as well. They do dial these numbers in real well. Greg also giving him the over. Over on Cleveland. El Canon, what's going on? And there's just a Boston team card right there to two ninety nine. That'll be for Kevin. How am I liking this 2023 design? Listen, I'll be honest with you. I've done about half a case of this 2023 Series 1 on Series 1 Eve, and I think I like it. I like the sort of, you know, player and face sort of look. Big team logo. I like that the names, sometimes the names get a little small, point, point, point size-wise, font size. The point size of those names get a little small. And they get a little difficult to read at times. But no, I feel like that's nice and bold. It pop, the name pops really nicely. And then you got the nice team logo, team name's a little bit smaller. You got, But the big logo makes up for it. I dig that. And we've got Seattle Mariners. Julio Rodriguez. Commemorative team patch. That's Michael Gallucci and the Mariners. Patchwork of the past patch card. 
like a little trident right there. It does kind of like a player bio look, right, from like ESPN. Look at Marco Powell, like looking, looking at his knee. All the other ones, they're mostly looking at you, right? But this one, he's just kind of looking off into the distance. Or his knee. How about Houston? They lead the, uh, according to Vegas win totals, they lead the AL West 97 and a half wins. That's a cool looking color. Tristan McKenzie. That's to 199. Byron Buxton. Under? Yeah. They, they only gave Seattle 86 and a half wins. I feel like that's a little over too, right? Rangers 81 and a half wins. Angels 81 and a half wins. Like I don't... Mariners might win 90 games next year. I think, I think the Rangers... Yeah, over on Seattle, right? Yeah, I mean, there could be a little, yeah, James, like, Astros have to finally go under at some point, right? 97 and a half is a lot. I mean, there's always going to be a team that ends up winning 100 games, blah, blah, blah. But mathematically, you know, when you're doing win totals, you really can't, those are, those are usually outliers. There's Major League material. Speaking of the Astros, there's Jordan Alvarez. Rangers only got 80, 81 and a half after some big moves that they made. Jacob DeGrom mainly. Scott Barlow. Second stack. Have we seen our auto yet? I don't know if we've seen our auto yet. Christian Javier, I think he just got an extension for the Astros. Got an Otani blue. That looks like a that looks different from the normal ones, right? And I'll sleeve it up just in case. I don't see a number stamped here. Uh, one of Roger's kids, Cody Clements. There's the autograph. And that's for the Giants. Rookie auto, David Villar. Or VR. That is for my rivals, the Giants. Mark. Mark got randomized, the Giants. It's Marco Gonzalez. Two ninety nine. That's true. Diego is reminding us that schedule wise, everyone's going to be playing everyone. All right, there isn't that um, 
there isn't that, uh, uh, what are they called? The unbalanced schedule? Excuse me, put, put water down the wrong pipe. But Diego's right. It, um, there used to be, or up until last year, uh, the unbalanced schedule would have you play your division far more often. It was weighted towards your divisional rivals. So the argument could be like, hey, well, you know, Dodgers are going to win 111 games if they're playing like the Diamondbacks and the Rockies. X amount of times a season. There's Ian Happ to 199. You know, when the Astros played the Rangers and the Angels for a good chunk of the season. So, yeah, what does that do to win totals? Maybe we lean unders on all of the division winners, on all the division leaders and win totals. But do you think Vegas has already baked that, baked that data point in? Jonathan Daza, 2023, that'll be for the Rockies. That'll be for Tristan, the Rocks. Autograph inside these silver packs. That's Shea Langliers. Rookie for the A's. Eugene. Nice. Should be out of 25. Yes, yeah, 17 out of 25. Oh, Diego, I'm sorry to just point. Not, did not bring my guitar today. Maybe next year. Maybe I'll work on some uh, some love songs for uh, for next year. And we got Fernando Tatis Jr. Uh, Mike likes the uh, sticker placement on the Shade Langliers. Acapella it is then. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing that there's just too little love. There you go, Diego. Uh, which is a Burt Bacharach song, uh, originally written by Burt Bacharach. I think he passed away recently, right? Last week? Reenact the Animal House scene. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Animal House all the way through. 
like maybe like bits and pieces on like TBS or TNT or something like that. Uh, NL, in the NL East, Atlanta's Braves, uh, the Atlanta Braves lead in win total, lead the division in win totals of 96 and a half wins. Seems like a lot, doesn't Mets, if you're wondering, 94 and a half wins. I mean, they got the, the retooled Mets. They're they're only giving Philly eighty nine and a half wins. I guess maybe Miami, Washington. They're not very good. They are playing other other divisions a little more equally now. Jensen says under. Greg says over. If you're into, you know, I know there's this kind of content all over the all over your sports networks these days. But if you're into investing on teams, into wagering on teams, I feel like early in the season, the Mets are going to be a super public team, right? I think we could probably blindly bet against the Mets for like the first week of the season, and we might we might, we might make a little money. Twenty five out of twenty five, Luis Garcia. It's like a World Series auto. There it is, World Series Championship autograph for the Astros, Brandon Jensen. The Mets might be a public team all season long. You think we have a I think we have a better chance at someone getting into the 50-50 club now that now that uh, you know there have been some slight modifications in the base paths and the base the base sizes and then throwing to a base when a runner's on with all those like like adjustments there You think there's a world in which we see a 50-50 player in the next uh, in the next few seasons? Will there be a 50-50 player in the next five years? Let's, 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 put it, let's put it like that. Robbie Ray, one-two punch. Two ninety-nine. Craig says yes. Yeah, I, if not, if we don't see it, we're gonna. I, I feel like we're gonna see it really close. Like there'll be. Either some, I guess, who's the, who's the current player that has the best shot at that? Trout could. It might, I feel like Mike Trout could, but I feel like there's no way the Angels management will let him run around the base paths like that. I think they want to avoid any kind of upper body injury as much as possible.
Right, and the guy, yeah, right, Grizzlebees, and the guys that they do let run, like a Michael Harris, I, I have a hard time seeing him hit 50 home runs, but it might not even be a player in the majors now. But I feel like we, I feel like if we don't get a 50-50 season, I feel like we could get pretty close. I, I could see someone get 45 home runs and 52 stolen bases. Something like, something like that. I was going to say Julio Rodriguez, but you think the Mariners will let him run? You know, or are they worried about, you know, him slowly diving headfirst into second base and jamming a finger or jamming up a shoulder or something like that? I think that's usually the concern. There's Tyler Wells. And a super short print, Ronald Acuna Jr. I love that big SSP right there. Nice. Look at that. Look how happy he looks. Braves, Jared, Jared Patterson with a super short print. And a cool city connect. Cap patch card to 299. Xander Bogarts, Kevin with the Red Sox. Chris Jaspi thinks if he reaches his truest potential, O'Neill Cruz could do it. Grizzlebees thinks Ellie Dela Cruz. 47 seals in the minor last year. Probably as much power as O'Neill Cruz. Acuna, maybe? Yeah, 41 sto uh, homers and 37 stolen bases. There's a 50-50 there's a possibility there. But he, he also has some injuries. I feel like they don't want to risk running him around too much. Who, Carlos Correa? Are they going to have him run on that leg? Oh, there's an LOL there. I think Grizzlebees is joking. Joey Votto. Piece of his jersey going to Stephen Carney in the red. Maybe Luis Robert. Yeah, my guess is it would have to be like... I don't know. It doesn't have to be, I guess. Like, there might be some surprises, but like in my head, it's like I, I foresee like a younger player who they'll, they'll let run wild on the base pass for the f first handful of years of his career. Maybe close to a top of the order guy, someone that that'll get a lot of ABs and a lot of stolen base chances, get a lot of home run chances. All right. Last box coming up. We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for hanging with me. And thanks to Tops for, for letting us rip a case open the night before Series 1, a new release day. We appreciate it. Part of their Series 1 Eve festivities. Here's Nolan Arenado to 25. That'll be for the Cardinals. That's going to be for Eugene. And the final box. Trey Turner, yeah. Trey Turner has shown like some 30 homer pop. He could definitely steal bases. He can definitely steal the 50. The 50 home runs might be the challenge. But every other year I feel like he's he goes off for like 30 some odd home runs. Tatis went 42 and 25 in 2021. Right, he's not going to do it this season. <laughs> but it is a possibility if he has enough ringworm. Uh, 
Uh, oh, let's finish off the win total talk. NL Central. The uh, the two on the top of the, according to Vegas win totals, the two teams on top, Cardinals and uh, the Brew Crew. Cardinals, 88 and a half wins over or under. Brewers, 86 and a half wins over or under. And I know we have a lot of Cubs fans here. Cubs are 76 and a half. Are we saying Cardinals under? I think Brewer is under. 86 and a half. That number for the Cardinals is about right. 88, 89 wins. Hey, Miles, what's going on? Welcome. Yeah, 2023 Series 1's looking so far so good. We got Greg Soto to 2023. That is crazy, right? 86 wins is five games over 500. It's a humbling sport. It's where if you hit the ball safely 30% of the time, Right? That's good. That's considered good. If you hit three if you hit the ball safely, three out of ten at bats, that's considered amazing. Breaking news, baseball is hard. Ooh, we got a Kibrian Hayes autograph. Nice one for the Pirates. Pirates win total sixty seven and a half. Still rebuilding a bit there. Mouse thinking as for over and under, Cardinals over. Brewers over if Yelich finally pops, if he, if he makes a little comeback to what we know he can do. All right, well, let's go, to, let's go to my NL West. I'm a Dodgers guy. Dodgers, 96 and a half. Padres, 93 and a half. And then it drops down to San Francisco, 81 and a half, and so on. There's Cedric Mullins to Feel like a lot of a lot of squares in the uh, in the Dodgers fan base. A lot of squares in the Dodgers fan. Base. They didn't do it. Dodgers didn't do anything. I mean, it's still a good team without a without doing anything. Still think might be might be a tiny bit under. Padres maybe a game game over. Dodgers, I, one thing I do know for sure, the Dodgers are not winning the division by 20 games like they did last season. 20 games? Something like that. Something stupid like that. Which leads, which to me, I think, I think that's why they were a little flat in the playoffs. I feel like they just weren't really battle tested at all throughout the season. There's Jonathan Daza for the Rockies. Uh, Mouse, I'm going to do a recap at the end. So, um... So I'll show you all the autos that we pulled after I'm done with all these cards. So hang tight for that.
Uh, yeah, well, yeah, you're exactly right, Mouse. Dodgers, they just need to worry about the playoffs. The regular season is fine. I mean, no one cares about... I mean, I think if the Dodgers win the World Series this year and end up losing... And, and they do it as a wild card, no one cares. You know, everyone's going to be fine. No one's going to care about where they finish in the regular season. And, you know... It, there's, I'd be pretty surprised if that there was if there was definitely a need. You know, the Dodgers are definitely going for it. You know, to improve their team at the uh, at the trading deadline, I assure you that. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, Mouse. Listen, and I'm sitting here going, well, we don't have to win the regular season. The Phillies reached the World Series, and they were a wild card team. Look up World Series odds really quick. Let's see what Vegas Insider has. World Series odds. Your favorites are the Astros, plus 650. These are the best numbers. Plus 650, Yankees, that's about six and a half to one. If that's how you, Yankees, plus 750. Mets and Dodgers, plus 800, eight to one. Braves, 10 to one. Padres, 10 to one. Phillies, 14 to one. Blue Jays, 15 to one. And the value is usually with those 10 to 1 and under teams, right? But are there some longer shots that are interesting? What about White Sox at 28 to 1? Plus 2, plus 2,000, uh, plus 2,800. That's the easy way to say it. Plus 2,800. I just feel like they, on paper they have got such a great looking team. That's to 499 Tariq Skubel and City Connect, Mike Yastrzemski. Yeah, but I mean, if you're just looking for value, if you're just looking for like who are long shots that you can spend a little and make a lot kind of <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, Mark Ratliff for the Giants. It's like, I feel like I'm kind of looking at those sorts of teams. What are the, who are the long shot teams that can that are actually somewhat reasonable? Do we have any other fun odds as we clear up this series one break here? Uh, NL MVP odds: Juan Soto right now six to one. Mookie Betts nine to one. Paul Goldschmidt twelve to one. Tatis Jr. twelve to one. Even though he's not going to play a whole season. Acuna Jr. fourteen to one. Machado twelve to one. Those are some interesting odds there. On the AL side, Otani plus two twenty. Aaron Judge six to one. Trout eight to one. Julio Rodriguez nine to one. Trout at plus eight hundred. I mean, you almost have to take Trout all the time at that kind of value. Uh, rookie of the year odds, since we're seeing a lot of rookies here. Uh, Corbin Carroll is four to one, the Arizona Diamondback player. Miguel Vargas from my Dodgers, nine to one. Cody Sanya, nine to one. Jordan Walker, nine to one. Um, Ezekiel Tovar, twelve to one. Kay Cavalli, he's a rookie in here, eighteen to one. Ellie Dela Cruz, sixteen to one. That's the NL AL rookie of the year odds. Gunnar Henderson, Orioles. We've been seeing a lot of his rookie cards, uh, plus three fifty. Tristan Casas. Plus 900, 9 to 1. Um, who else is in here? Oswaldo Peraza, he's a Yankee right here, 28 to 1. DL Hall, four, 40 to 1. Those are some longer shots, but 
Those are guys we're going to see in 2023 Series 1. And let's finish off the break. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks again to Tops for uh, – there's Cade Cavalli right here. He's got some Rookie of the Year odds on his side. Had a lot of fun with this. And stick with us all baseball season long. I'm a big baseball fan. You know, you know, during the long, long hot summer, you can chill out and break with us on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm sure Toss will be releasing all sorts of baseball product throughout the year. We always like to keep our baseball product well stocked during the season. We group breaks seven nights a week. Jazbeescasebreaks.com. That's two. That'll be part of the left, right, and center randomizer. Here's Hunter Green, LA kid here for the Reds. Stephen Carney with the red legs. Could be a big breakout season for him. So yeah, jazbeescasebreaks.com, all sorts of fun stuff. We love we love talking. We love talking baseball, so we're always open to, to conversation. Diamondbacks to 76, 75 out of 76. Diamondbacks, they got they got a lot of youngsters on that team. They could start they could start getting real good real soon. If they see some of those guys ahead of schedule, or see more than one of those guys you know, really play at a high level. All right, the silver packs, and then we're done. We'll do a quick randomizer, and then we'll be done. I could see Andy Pajas with a... Uh, he probably does make a debut this year. I feel like he's going to be one of those guys that kind of gets, gets sent up and down for a little bit, unless he just really goes off. I could, feel, I could see him filling in here and there. Maybe more of an extended look during... September, a cup more than a little cup of coffee. All right, gang. Thank you very much. Let's do a little bit of housekeeping here. Let's see. Left, I guess, left, center, right. Side on top. We'll get the team that's on the side, on the left side, the center side, or the right side. That side will, uh, that's where it'll go. Three and a five, eight times. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. And eight. Right side. So all the right side teams will get these cards right here. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time, next time for the next one. Bye-bye.